Okay. Americans less likely to have sex, partner up and get married than ever by Harry Anton. Well, duh. <laughs> Men can't afford the bribing price. As you can see in a life is photo, it shows the truth of it. A man giving an expensive ring to a woman and you never see the opposite. You never see a woman giving a ring to a man of equal value. So the man is bribing the woman and he can't do it anymore. Now, Valentine's Day is day of love, says you. A special day on which we're supposed to make sure that those around us know how much we care for them. Notice too, is the gender, gender neutral terms he uses. He couldn't write this article. It is the man who shows his love, but really he's not showing love. He's showing his servitude. I am willing to pay to have you around. But on this day, when Cupid is supposed to strike us with his arrow, there are several reasons to think love isn't what it once was, United States for better or yet worse. Uh, there aren't several reasons. There's only one reason. The average man, doesn't have the finances to bribe the average woman. That's the only reason. And it's the same as it always has been. Obviously, the girls never wanted men's sex. What they wanted is, is uh, payments. Indeed, here are four potentially troubling stats, one potentially positive sign about love in the US. Now look, 26% of Americans age 18 didn't have sex once over the past 12 months. Oh my God. Even Santa Claus comes to once a year. So not even once a year. And that's 26%, that's one in four. So guys, <laughs> this, this idea of just throwing around the word incel, you should stop. Because the average man is an incel. He's involuntarily celibate. You think men aren't having sex because they because of some outside force? There's only one reason why they aren't. The women aren't interested in having sex with men. There's nothing stopping them. You might think this is just a pandemic effect. I don't. By rights, the pandemic should increase it because men and women are forced to be together for greater periods of time. But as I had another video, the pandemic has the opposite effect because <laughs> people couldn't stand one another. Couples couldn't stand one another. But it's part of a long-term trend. The two years with next high percentages of adults saying they didn't have sex once in the past year was in 2016, 2018. The last two times the survey was conducted. So if the survey was conducted every year, they would include 2017, 2019, 2020. Before 2004, the highest percentage of Americans who said they had sex in the past year, this is a year, was 19%. Holy shit. 19% isn't that much smaller than 23. And this is 18 years before. This is an entire generation. This is last generation's. So the millennials weren't getting any more sex than the boomers, really. This year's survey was also the first time percentage of Americans who had sex once a month or less topped 50%. So, I mean, they're using once a year. Now, even once a month is nothing. Do, would you consider if you had uh, sex once a month, that it, would you consider that a sex life? I wouldn't. So it's obvious all you guys, men don't get married for sex. They hope for sex. And they get in partnerships for hopefully they'll get sex, but they don't. They, the, the reason they get into partnerships is because they want the woman around. If the woman doesn't want to have sex, obviously the man puts up with it. 1989, 85, or sorry, 35% of American adults had sex once a month or less. So again, He's going all the way back to 1989, and it's still huge. That's one in three. So some of this has to do with fewer per people getting married and aging population, but it's not explained at all. No, it doesn't have anything to do with this. This has nothing to do with that. People aren't getting married because women don't want to be married to men who don't make enough for them. That's it. Married men don't get sex any more than the unmarried ones. Now, among married couples age 
of 60, 26% had sex once a month or less in 2021. In 1989, it was 12%. Well, duh. The 80s were really better for sex. No, they were, it was better for men to have sex. This is the gender neutral terms you guys have to drop. You have to discard. The women obviously never wanted sex for men. So if men was getting more sex, it's because women were willing to put out more then. And I like this photograph too. This is perfect. It's a single woman. She's that's a very expensive apartment. Look, it's a high rise. It has a beautiful view of the city. This is a woman who's very high earning. You don't see a man. She can't get a man high enough that, to bribe her. And what's missing in this picture is probably a cat or a dog. It's not just about sex. Uh, Americans age, I don't know if I'll bother with uh, that. I, I'll let you guys read it. Partnership is at a low, not just marriage. Well, duh, they're the same thing. Just getting together with a woman. Whether it's official or not, the man can't bribe a woman into his life. The women never wanted to be there. Now. Okay, this is an interesting one. Interestingly, as the population ages, more baby boomers have gotten above the age of 55. The percentages of older folks from relationships have stayed fairly steady, mid to high 60s on average. Well, duh, baby boomers came around the 60s and 70s when women were still looking for a provider husband. And they're too old now to monkey branch to, an, to another man. So they're, they're, they're in that relationship, they've accepted it. Uh, this is before uh, women got into education and got all these job quotas so that they didn't need a provider. So these later generations, of course, have been able to deselect men the way they always wanted to. These boomer women, if, uh, if they were in the age of, uh, the nuclear age, if they were brought right into the age of information, they would have never dropped, you got together with these men either. That means this trend towards singledom is more about young people than older people. Well, it's more about the change in generation. And what era the generation came from. And this, this is one <laughs> good thing that he has to say. Many Americans won't get a partnership. No, not that one. This one, the divorce rate is dropping. Well, of course, the marriage rate is dropping. So the divorce rate is dropping. Well, duh. <laughs> so maybe one day I'll be one of those lucky ones in a successful marriage. A boy can hope, can he? Wow. So seeing everything he does, he's still hopes he gets into marriage. I mean, it just goes to show you how blind these guys have to be. And this is the only reason, by the way, that Harry Enten was able to get this article put in the CNN. They can talk about the problem, but they'll, they'll never go to the source of the problem. Because if he went to the source of the problem, Harry Enten would be called an incel, and this article wouldn't be showing up in CNN health. They always have to circle the source of the problem. And again, he would be called an incel and incel has nothing to do with whether a man gets sex or not. It has to do with or whether a man is truthful about gender dynamics. That's it. So, and that's all we have to say about that.